everyone. You're watching Madden Ultimate Team, and I'm your host, The Coach. This game should not disappoint, so sit back and put that remote down. Ready for football now on a sunny Florida afternoon. And off we go in Madden Ultimate Team. Cooper on the return. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. They're led by the NFL's MVP in 2018 and also MVP of Super Bowl 54 in his fifth season. It's Patrick Mahomes. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that's caught inside the 30. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. But I think it's about time I took my eyes off of the secondary or the guys with the football. How about the offensive line on that snap? They took care of business. Absolutely, and when he can stay in the pocket like that, you're going to get big plays like we just saw. Now a throw for the All-Pro, Kelsey is complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense could get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. Mahomes going to throw. Another pass into the reliable hands of Kelsey. And he takes this down to about the two before going out of bounds. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. And again, it's Mahomes. Caught! It's the tight end, Kelsey, for a Miami touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Dolphins take it right down and score on the opening drive. Let's make no bones about it on paper. They're the better team. They're at home. That's a strong opening run. And just think how many times we've seen this type of a matchup. Just what you said. Better team at home should steamroll them. And we've seen it go the other way. Sometimes, though, they buy into it and understand we are the better team. Let's go out and prove it right now. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Here's Smith to return it. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So now the Titans get their first shot on offense. They'll be led by Teddy Bridgewater in his eighth season now in the NFL. A Pro Bowl quarterback early in his career at Minnesota before a horrific knee injury slowed down his progress. He's a more than capable quarterback and makes the most of his opportunities when he's a starter in the NFL. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Found a little room there as he's up to about the 37. All right, Brad, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they're going to open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. Fights through him. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one good for a pickup of 15 for Tennessee. Now a first down carry. It's Williams. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. They go play action. Bridgewater. Blitz coming and down he goes. Jack Youngblood. 
just would not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Third and long now after the sack. And we'll see if Bridgewater has a response. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. And that will be incomplete. That was a nice job defensively of disguising their coverage and making it difficult for the quarterback to lock in on a receiver. And it results in an incomplete pass. On fourth down, here's Andy Leon to kick it away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. 6-0 our score after one. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Marshall, the intended receiver, and that'll bring up second down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that, they might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Throwing is Mahomes on third. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Xavier Woods with a pick. And they're going to be set up in the red zone right around the 17-yard line. And they'll take possession already in the red zone and in a great spot to add points to the scoreboard. And Brandon, how many times have we seen a defense with a lot of field behind them get even more aggressive, right? They feel like they've got them not pinned down, but in a favorable spot for them. And they took advantage of it there, got a nice interception, and set up their offense in great shape. Throwing again on second and 10, Bridgewater. And he'll go down, brought down at the 20-yard line. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams there to bring him down. And we've hit the two-minute mark in this first half of action. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. Bridgewater now. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Quinnen Williams picks up his second sack of the afternoon. But he continues, Charles, to be under constant pressure. And these sacks, they're starting to pile up. And if they want to have a realistic chance in this one, They've got to change their blocking assignments. They've got to do a better job to keep him upright. If he's going to be on the deck constantly, they've got no chance to win this game. So plenty of leg, but it's the accuracy there that lets him down. Yeah, he hit it really well. I think this might have been good from 55, but you'll see it just conk off that upright, and they're denied a chance at three points. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And following the interception, we'll see what they can put together on this drive. I can hear my old college coach right now. He always used to tell us before every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. What they're hoping is that that last mistake is their only one of the game. Yeah, coaches, that's all they talk about turnovers, right? Minimizing those and maximizing opportunities. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Open man here. It's the tight end, Kelsey. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Now here's Mahomes. Touchdown, Dolphins! Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. And that's certainly an important score right there because they gave themselves a two-score cushion heading towards halftime. Now you got to force the other team out of their comfort zone, and it changes the way you approach the second half as well. How you want to do things on offense, and your defense feels much better, too, having that lead. This time, the extra point up and good. And the lead now stands at 13. Now after the 
Touchdown at Zerline. He'll kick it away. Fielded just outside the goal line. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. Time to take a glance into what we've seen so far from Teddy Bridgewater. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it struggles. And normally what you get is renewed determination. When, when, when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen anymore. They take it personally. He's not supposed to be on the ground. But that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they've got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him off the ground now going forward. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Second and ten. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Titans going to get the ball to start the second half and they trail here as we get back to it on EA Sports. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. The Titans getting set to go here to begin the third quarter. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. From the gun, Bridgewater. Oh, he'll air this one deep for Judy. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Gun, Bridgewater. And that is incomplete. I know that we've seen their share of struggles, and the quarterback's been hit a few times in this game, but this one can't be put on the offensive line. They gave him plenty of time to throw the football. I think ultimately, he has to be a lot more decisive in his decision making and get rid of it and find an open target. Let's go. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And Kevin Pierre Lewis there to bring him down. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now whistles and a flag, and I believe the Dolphin got going a little early. Oh, jumping early from his tight end spot. Maybe trying to get a jump start on that route. Yeah, I think you're exactly right about that. And oftentimes when you see that, that means the play call was supposed to come in his direction, and he was eager to go catch a pass. Again, it's Henry. And he'll fight forward to about the 27-yard line. Three yards on the gain. They're going to need to do better on this next play. It'll be third and 12. Here's Mahomes to throw. Try to fight his tight end, Kelsey, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Malcolm Jenkins. 
And they will finally stop him, but a great return gets that football all the way down to the 16-yard line. And you can't say enough about our man making the interception right there, Brandon. It's his 12th year in the league, and you told me before the game that he still got it, and he does. What a play that was to come away with the football. Seven yards, the pick up there. Second and three from the nine. They give it to Williams, running right. Seven yards on the pick up there, and now they'll have it first and goal. So a decent deficit at this stage in the second half. Four down territory? No doubt about it. There's not a chance that he hasn't looked ahead and said, OK, if we gain yardage on this play, this is what we'll do going forward. If we lose yardage, this is the play call that I'll have ready. Nothing doing there. They're going to wind up holding him at the two. No gain there, and it's going to set up second and goal. They'll run it with Williams. And into the end zone for a Tennessee touchdown. Damian Williams taking it in from two yards out. And the Titans are able to cut into this deficit here in the final minute of the third. Extra point by Fairbairn, up and good. And the lead will shrink to six. There's the Titan kick team as they run up and send this one away. Chris taking in at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. Javon Kinlaw, the big D tackle there to bring him down. From the 24, Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. Three quarters in the books. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They were looking for Marshall that time. And now it's second down. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there. And it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release. And they did force the incomplete pass. Meanwhile, the throw here is complete. And he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. Nine yards, not quite enough. And they'll be left now with third and one. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to have a first down as he's brought down at the 44-yard line. We all love to have a home run hitter in the backfield that can take it the distance. But a short yardage, trying to pick up first downs, that big guy, always a nice luxury to have, isn't he? They keep it with Henry on first down. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. He has just been completely taken out of this game. We're in the fourth quarter. He's single digits in the rushing department. And I know we look at him because the numbers do go to his production. But how about the guys blocking for him? They don't just have his number as a ball carrier. They've got the number of the offensive line and the other guys because they're getting to him before he can get started. The Dolphin passing game rolling here. They've got another first down. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. A first down carry for Henry. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They'll run it again with Henry. And some room to work. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down on, inside let's, let's the 20. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Not 
totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now a handoff to Henry. And now they're inside the ten as he's brought down at the nine. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Tenth carry now for Derrick Henry. And he's able to work it here to the eight-yard line. Just a gain of a yard, but it's going to set him up with a first and goal. Now I'm assuming they're keeping this football on the ground, right? I would think so, because you're looking at the clock. That's in your favor. You look at the geography of the field, right, where you are. That's in your favor as well. Keep it on the ground. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Derrick Henry. It's a two-score game. You're inside in two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Mahomes now going to lead his guys up for the two-point try. Mahomes will throw for it. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. A great read, and it's picked off. And the return won't go anywhere. They'll be back deep in their own territory at the two-yard line. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you get a chance to take it all the way back and get two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case. Here, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. The Titans offense set to begin the drive. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Yeah, this is going to be a Titans first down as the tackle made at about the 38. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. They get this out wide to Gasket. And five yards, not going to cut it here. That clock continues to run. He's going to let it fly. And on the left sideline, he caught it, but out of bounds, according to the headlinesman. Incomplete, so the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not reel it in. So a victory here for the Miami Dolphins. And we talk so much about the turnover battle, determining who wins, who loses. This game, no exception. Air-free football, no turnovers at all, and they win it. So this is one you don't have to convince your team that what you're saying is accurate. And you know what I'm talking about. Head coach always stands up in front of the team and says, guys, if we do this, this, and this, we'll win. And usually they say, if we win the turnover battle, we'll win. Well, here's the proof right there. Win the turnover battle, go on to victory. Now the guys believe you move on to the next lesson where you have to convince them this one is now planted.